Here to talk more about this milk trend is Roni Broder with Dinner Reinvented. Good morning, Roni. Good morning. It's a little bit overwhelming, isn't it? When you go to even the dairy section and you see there are so many different milks and you're like, what's healthy for me? What isn't? And yeah. what should I choose? Yeah, I used to do 2% a lot, but then my toleration level changed. So now I'm all about the almond milk these days. Okay. Okay. So you like almond milk. We have so many different types of milk, Ooh. nine different types here, all with a paper bag. And I would love for you to taste test it oh. and tell me if you could recognize what it is. There might be a couple of new oh. ones and I'm gonna tell you um, what is the health benefit or the misconception about each one oh. <laughs> that, that's not a good sign what do you think that one is I don't know soy milk oh I okay. get that in my coffee sometimes so soy milk was the first kind of dairy alternative mm -hmm. that we saw on the market um, it has some really good things it's half the calories of milk it's right. high in vitamin b12 and vitamin D and it has 30% of your daily calcium the problem is is a lot of people have an aversion to soy uh -huh. so that's when a lot of other things came on the market so next one let's see let's what see. you think Think. She's taking like the tiniest sips, by the way. She's like, oh God, is that That's real some nut? sort of nut. Really? Well, it's your almond milk. That wasn't a good almond. No, it wasn't. It wasn't your favorite almond milk. So, by the way, when you are looking for alternative milks, I would highly recommend always look for an unsweetened version. It's going to be oh, lower in sugar, that's how I and it's going it. yeah. to kind of cut out some of the extras. But okay. that one is really high in. Um, it's low carb, and it's 50% of your B B12. Okay, we got about two minutes. Okay, to go. go. Let's try this one here. Okay, this one. Flax. I don't like that at all. You don't like oh, it? God, I no. really like it. It has five oh, oh. grams of your daily protein in it. Plant-based protein. So it's really good if you have a nut allergy. Go okay, for it. Okay, the next one. Uh-huh. Oh, that one's pretty good. This is hemp. So it, this is mm -hmm. higher in fat. It has eight grams of fat, which is about the same as cow's milk. Oh, yeah. It's low in protein, um, So, but it does have vitamin D and vitamin B12 and calcium. But it tastes a little better. I do like almond better than that one. Really? Though. I'm mm -hmm. like, what am I going to do with all these bags? What do you think? What do you think that one is? A nut. Okay, this is pecan, and this <laughs> for me was the most deceiving of all of them. It, uh, whoop, there we go. Yeah. Really high in sugar, really oh, wow. high in fat, 11 grams of fat, more than cow's oh, milk. No. Yeah. 140 calories, and really no nutritional value. Yeah, okay, we got about a minute left. Okay. Okay, let's see. I don't recognize that. Okay, another nut milk. Mm -hmm. It is cashew, and I've it seen has. That in the store. I haven't tried cashew yet. Okay. So this one is good because um, it's a pretty clean one. Very right. few ingredients, but it has more carbs than other nut milks, yeah, and get, not much the nutrition. Carbs, okay. Not you don't sure. like that? It's okay. okay. It's okay though. So this is Ripple. For me, okay. this is the most exciting new milk on the market. It's pretty decent though, yeah. It is tasty, it's creamy, and here are some of the really interesting things. Eight grams of protein. It has oh. five grams of fat. Okay. It's higher in potassium and 50% more calcium than regular milk. That's excellent. Okay, 30 seconds. Yes. Mm. And by the way, it's pea protein. So if you have any aversion to anything, That's, Ripple is going Ripple's to be good. really good. This one, horrible. What is that? That's coconut milk. And it only has about 45 calories for a cup, but it also Ooh. is really high in saturated fat. It has four and a half, five grams of saturated fat. This tastes like regular milk. Ah, she's so good. Yeah. That's the real deal. Yeah, I don't, I don't do the regular milk normally. Put something in your frother, try it out. <laughs> you can see how creamy some of them get, and then oh, some yeah. of them fall a little flat. So you just want, here, let's see. See, that one is the ripple. Yeah. You do need to kind of test them out, see what you like, but look at the nutrition label. That's really going to help you understand Thank you, what's healthy and what isn't. We'll be right back.